got some four inch seed purlins and that's what I'm finna build the skids out of to put under this little mini greenhouse. So right now I'm finna just be cutting my links. Then I'm gonna weld it together and then we'll get it up under the greenhouse and fasten to the bottom of it. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Hey guys, next we finna start welding this skid together and hope it comes out of square so when I lift up that greenhouse it'll just fit right under there. So I'm finna start welding, y'all watch your eyes. guys another day for me just a couple seconds for y'all but it, this mini greenhouse has turned into a multiple day project just because I didn't have all my materials I'm continuing on building my skids for the bottom so right now I'm cutting my skids and gonna weld them on each end of the frame and some tie hooks where I can hook on when I want to drag it that's what I'm working on. Show y'all what I was cutting on. On each end, I'm taking a piece of this four inch C channel and I'm cutting it. I'm having to cut a notch right here set it up under this frame that way I can weld it down the side and then I can tilt this up and weld it and I'm gonna put my full chains welded to this bottom piece that way ain't nothing pulling on my frame when I hook to it pulling it around tilt these up so it when you're pulling it it'd be like a sled I had to do four because I'm going to have it to where I can hook to it on either end. So now I'm going to start welding all this together. guys don't like much more welding but I run out of wire if I ain't got no wire I'm gonna have to go to town it's taking longer to build a skid than it did to build a greenhouse so stay with me and I'll get started again in a little bit hey right, guys I got lucky I had a, one of the little little spools got a little bit of wire so maybe it'll be enough to finish this Got me some U-bolts here. I had in the scrap pile, and I'm gonna weld them right there. That way, I can put a chain right through here on each side when I get ready to pull this round. So that way, I'll be pulling just on this bottom piece, and the greenhouse is gonna be sitting on this. And I'm gonna weld some brackets up that I can. Be welded onto the C channel and it'll be a bolt going through the 
two by sixes on the greenhouse. That way, won't no, nothing be pulling on the greenhouse. It'll just be riding on top of this ski. So that's what I'm gonna be welding on is these U bolts. on that end all we like is putting the hooks on the other end you bolts that their welding kind of messed me up there combination of three things them you bolts is galvanized which don't weld good and then i changed i run out of wire so i had that little spool of wire in the shed it was old plus it was a different size I then got used to welding with that one size wire and it was welding so good and then when I swapped over and that's galvanized and then old wire in a different size took me a minute to get my little welder lined out there I don't think I'm gonna weld them brackets on there till I get this mini greenhouse set on top of that skid then I had to get me a piece of wood as a wood block to keep splatters off my plastic and weld it on there. I'm scared to weld them on there. I got to get this greenhouse picked up and then set down on there somehow. I don't want to mess up and tear my plastic or anything. So. Anyway, we've been a move on. is welded on the bottom where I can hook my chain when I get ready to pull it. So now up next I'll be setting the mini greenhouse on top of the skid. And then we can come back and I'm going to weld some brackets up. Two on each side and two on each end. I'm going to weld them to this then bolt it to the greenhouse, but I ain't gonna do that till after I get the greenhouse set on there. So the ski is pretty much completed at this point. So stay with me and next we'll be setting the greenhouse on top of this. I may have to recruit some help for that. All right, guys. I ain't got patience to try to recruit someone to help me. And my dad raised me when there's a will, there's a way. So we finna get this done. On this end, I'm gonna take that handyman jack and I'm gonna jack it up and then I'm gonna put a block under each side. On the other end, I put me two, two bolts. And I'm going to take that tractor and I'm going to run that bucket up under there and I'm going to pick this end up and then I'm going to slide that skid under there. My dad always said, son, when there's a will, there's a way. And don't never say you can't do something. You said you, your daddy said you do something and you say I can't. That wasn't a word to him. He said you say you can't hardly.
well, guys. Took me a couple tries, but with that tractor and that handyman jack, it's on there, but my bottom ain't exactly square with my mini greenhouse. So I'm gonna cut my brackets and weld them on this side and bolt it through the frame. And then I think I can twist it and put my brackets on the other side. Alright guys, I got it squared up. It ain't perfect as building a set of cabinets, but it's close enough. And I'm gonna weld my tie straps on this side. And then probably put me two on each end. gonna have to tack weld these two because I'm about out of wire. So I'm gonna just tack weld them on there so I can put my screws to it and then when I get my wire get some more welding wire then I'll finish welding it but it'll be completed tack weld. <laughs> When you're working by yourself, you use your feet as hands like a monkey. the skid is completed all I'm gonna do next we finna put greenhouse window vent opener hinge on the window that's one of them hinges that as it gets hot it automatically open up with temperature and then after I do that I need to put my greenhouse batting got some of that cloth batting that I'm gonna run about three three times over it and every word of this stapled around the bottom and the door I'm gonna put that batting over it and shoot it on with a with a air T gun. But I'm gonna install the window. I got the rope over it right now. Till my batting strips come in. They ought to be in today. Once we do that, we're gonna finish. Alright guys, right now I already had me a little latch in fixed up where I push the window out push my latch out done it like that and it's where the wind couldn't blow it up or down but now we're going to take one of these vent window hinges it's going to have to go like that so I'm going to have to put me a strip right across here fasten the bottom to Got a part fastened on there, and then I put the cylinder will be pointed down this way. I got the cylinder in the freezer right now. When you get these vent window hinges, you put the cylinder in the freezer, 
But that's how it activates on cold and hot weather. And right now it's hot, so it's stretched out. You want it stretched in so you can assemble it. So put it in your freezer and it'll, it'll, come, it'll close. And then you can bring it out here real quick and put it on after you get all this assembled. So right now I gotta disassemble what I got here and cut me a board to put across this window here to fasten this on. Alright, I got my latch removed. I'm gonna put this board right center of that window there so I have a good spot to mount this window hinge on. Now I'm keeping the little latch I had made there, I'm keeping that way of this hinge ever quits on me. I'll still have my I'll still have my uh, latch a latch I made that I can just put back on there. I have one on my heated cold frame. You ain't seen that video, you need to go watch it. The hinge I have on my heated cold frame it's a lot bigger hinge than this, this because it, it opens that cold frame from the top, so it's a heavy lid. I think it's for like a 60 pound window. I can't remember how much that thing was, but it wasn't cheap. It was like $125 or something. And this one here, it's for a 15 pound window. And that's all you need to tilt out a little window like that. And I think on Amazon, I give like $30 for it. They usually run anywhere from $30 to $50. <laughs> When it freezes it, you, then you can put it up on something and you can shove that in. But you screw this in the bottom. You line that cylinder up where them holes are right there. And you got two different holes for two different positions. I put my pinion right here in the bottom hole because I want my window to open the furthest. And you have to turn it until them holes line up. And it comes with a little pin that you can put through there. Just like that. And then, after you do that, you got about an inch of adjustment. I screw mine all the way up because I want my window to start opening when it gets about 70 degrees. And you can see that window opening. That cylinder is already starting to expand because it's hot out here. And here in just a little bit, I'm going to show y'all and that window's going to be open on up. But that's how you install a greenhouse vent window hinge. Like I said, you have to make your brackets and stuff unless you, unless you got a real greenhouse kit. But you can make them work. But I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. That's our green, greenhouse vent window hinges installed. So now all I like is 
my batting strips and the upstruck ain't run yet so this may turn into another day's project all right guys you can see it's about 82 degrees in here i'm gonna go around here and show you how far this when the hinge has opened up so far When it cools off tonight, it'll close. One thing you gotta remember when you have a hinge like this, you cannot latch it down. You latch it down, it starts heating up, trying to open it, it'll mess the cylinder up. So I'm gonna take that latch off. That way I can't, nobody mess up and turn it and lock my window. All right, guys. I decided I'm gonna put an electrical plug in here. Since I got a light hanging over my work, station here plus that's a like a grow light i'm gonna put me an electric plug right here i'm gonna i have an old extension cord and i'm gonna run that wire across under here and staple it with electrical staple go down that leg and run down the top of that tube of six to the door that way when i want electricity i can just plug it in on the outside with a cord and then i got an electrical plug in here Plug my little light in. Yep, we got electricity. I think this time I'm done other than the batting strips. Hey right, guys. My batting stripping finally came in the mail today, so I'm going to get to finish my mobile mini greenhouse. What I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the batting strips. I'm going to put four of them over that just like that, and then all the way around the bottom where I stapled that plastic, I'm going to put one of them batting strips around it, and then on each end, everywhere that, where I stapled plastic to wood, it's going to have a batting strip. I'm going to be putting this batting strip on with a air staple gun which shoots one inch staples a heavier gauge staple so it ain't like a little hand staple gun these here are gonna shoot in the wood and hold good so that's what I'm working on Guys, when I'm shooting this batting strip on here, I fold the ends over a couple of times. And then I then I nail it. twisted right there I got to untwist it then I'm gonna start putting my battings around the bottom all the way around Now I can say I'm finally finished with the mobile greenhouse.
put batting around everywhere that I'd had that staple with just hand staples. And like I said, them air gun staples are one inch long and heavier gauge. And how putting them through that nylon batting like that, it'll tear the wind, it'll tear the plastic off before it pulls them off. Seen in the earlier video, that window bin hinge is working awesome the last couple of days. But there's a, there she is. Now in the first video, when I said I had my plastic, but it was some old plastic I had. You can see one repair spot right down here on the bottom. This thing only had about four holes in it, so I got some of that greenhouse repair tape, and that stuff is, it's tough. So I repaired it, and that plastic gonna stay on there until it gives up on me. There's your end view. You can see I got it loaded down with tomatoes and peppers. Well, guys, I hope something in this video helps someone out, gives them some ideas on how to do something. Please leave comments and suggestions, or if you got something that you done different, I love to hear it. Put it in the comments and let me know. Maybe something I want to change on this one. But I ain't seen a video yet, one done on skids. And that's one of the main things I wanted to show. You can put this on some skids like that, and then you can hook it to your ATV and drag it around wherever you want it. But guys, thanks for watching. God bless. Have a great day.